That is a bit of a problem. Let's go fix it. We've got problems. Basically, this pipe on the van is leaking from there. So we're gonna fix it. But first, before we fix it, these pipes are about 90 pounds. If you go on various Volkswagen sites online, not mentioning any names, but if you go on eBay, the 26 pounds there's a bit of a difference they deliver next day i don't know why it's a different price from the volkswagen sites or the camper van sites but ebay is less than half price 26 pounds compared to 80 90 pounds that's a bit just ridiculous so we're going to take the old one off and we're going to fit this one and i've got a guest the boy is going to be fixing things. So, let's get some tools and get fixing stuff. Right, so sorry, uh, because the the water pipes are so close to the actual starter motor, I've got to get in there with screwdrivers and pliers and stuff like that. And there's a bracket that holds the starter motor on, which is connected to the top of the actual water pipe. We're just going to disconnect the battery because we don't need any sparks and we don't need them blowing up and anything like that. So we're just going to disconnect the battery. We've already loosened the nut. Take the battery same on and just put it out the way so we can't, the battery's not connected so it doesn't matter what we touch down there everything is kind of safe we don't need to worry about any spark and all going basically wrong right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to undo these little brackets that are holding these pipes on I think there's four of them in total so hopefully they come off with ease these things are not known things to get off especially when you're not using the right tools there's one there's two off right now we've got to undo there's a nut there, and there's a nut right down, holding the actual bar on. So, we get some sockets out and get on them sockets. Right, we've got one under here, which is there. We can undo that connector. It's going to get to this one, but it's going to be easier to take this one off first. It's right in the way of the one that we need to get to. And I'm just being covered in water. We should need to undo a couple of brackets that are holding the pipe on to the actual starter motor housing, going into the engine, and then this pipe should come off. So there's the old pipe to the new pipe and you can just see the holes right there. The new pipe was a bit of a nightmare to get off because it didn't want to come on but you can see just how the rust in time has affected the pipe. It was starting to get all sorts of holes and things like that. If you were away and this did go on you, you could always put a piece of tubing around there and you could probably jubilee grip it up just to get you home if you were in stuck because I don't think you're going to be able to get one of these pipes away but once they're replaced they should be good for you know the rest of the life of the van this thing's been on the van for 20 24 years so the next one should outlive the engine 
One thing you'll notice on the new pipe, it's got a screw hole. The screw is in your old pipe. Don't forget to take this out. Once you've done the job, you put your water back in. Leave the van running for about 10, 15 minutes. And then top the water up because the air will have come out of the system. Leave your bottle cap off and fill it up to your required barber. So don't forget, once you've filled your water up, top it up, put your bottle cap on. Look for any leaks, any problems, anything like that. Make sure everything's secure, make sure everything's safe. Take it off your ramps, jobs are good. If you found this video interesting, if you found it helpful, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave some comments in the comment section below. It's not a hard job, it's a bit dirty, it's a bit messy, it's a little bit fiddly, but you can do it. See you soon.